Hi, Christy Karate here with Christy's Clarity. Sure, everybody says, or you've heard, if you can think it, you can create it. How many times have you heard that? Well, I'm here to share with you today about how that's true and how you can create that more in your life. Okay, so when people say that, our thoughts, I've showed you this before, our thoughts through our emotions or our belief systems, whatever that is, causes us to move into action and that action causes our result. Now, the law of creativity tells us this is true. The law of creativity is that you can create anew, that the universe is not stagnant, stagnant, that there is always something new to create. And if you are doing something you've done before, over and over, find a new way to do it. Find a new exciting way that will keep you going through doing what it is that you love to do. But let's come back to that idea that, that if you can think it, you can create it. Now, it was really funny. My husband said the other day, he says, I really thought just like in the Jetsons that we would be having flying cars by now, right? Well, if we could think it, we could create it. It was thought back then. You know, so many times of our, so many things of our inventions have come because of the Jetsons, you know, um, uh, Apple, um, the, <laughs> Steve Jobs, um, he actually looked at a lot of those gizmos they had and created from that. So if he could think it, he could create it, right? Why don't we have flying cars? Well, that's a bigger question. I'm going to talk about why don't you have the thing that you love that you would love to create. If you can think it, you can create it. So I am going to actually share um, oh, I can't do that in Facebook. Okay, so it's going to be fingers here. Okay, so I want you to imagine that life is like a pure uh, 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 iceberg. And the top of the iceberg there, right, is the part of us that we see every day and we operate from and we think runs us. We think we have control over all of those thoughts and we probably do in the top part of the iceberg, right? The bottom part of the iceberg is filled with all of our subconscious thoughts. Now, some of them are closer to the surface. We can remember them. Some of them are dark and, and below, way deep down in the below. Now, think about the um, Titanic and how it only saw what was up above and it didn't see how devastating the things were down below it. That's what it is like for us. So the law of creativity says we can have our own volition. We can choose our own thinking. We can create what we think. We can therefore create what we want. But it takes right thinking all the time. So how do you do that? Doubt out, faith in. Have you ever heard that one, right? Doubt out, faith in. Pay attention to every thought you have. You know, if you can't find your keys, and you start putting yourself down and going, see, I'm, you know, I'm losing my memory. I can't even remember where I put my keys and how to lower it right and kicking your own self in the butt, right? Then you create more of that. Yes, you have volition. Yes, you chose to think that. And you can stop it. You can change it and go, oh, bless my heart. There I go again. Um, I've got so many creative things on my mind, I can't find my keys, right? Then you start, so you can think about for something. We've talked about this concept before about being for something and against nothing. You can think about everything. Yes, even politics, even pollution, even, you know, world crisis. You can think about anything that you want to, you can change your thinking and think for something and against nothing. Like even just the thought of, I happened to be on a tail end of a nice respite for my husband and I, and we came to this beautiful place called the Zen Jewel Retreat, and it's an Airbnb, and we have the ocean air here, and the, you know, it's like, when I think of pollution or what people are doing to the environment, my thoughts can be more productive and stronger when I think this is nature, this is truth, this is beautiful and take in the beautiful smell of the ocean air, 
right? Doesn't mean you take action, but when you take action, do it from the place of, I want to continue this. Don't make anyone wrong or anything wrong because when you do, when you blame anyone outside of yourself, you become the victim. And when you are the victim, you have no power. You have given all your power up to the person, the thing, the action that you blame. So today, think creative thoughts. What can we have the volition to create a new every moment? What's the new thought I can have about this? I see the health of the beating earth and that it is creating a, 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 a I think the words concophony, a, a choir of people that are thinking health and well-being for our beautiful planet. And it is taking that in and everything that's unlike that, it's letting go, doesn't need that anymore. Now notice I didn't make that wrong, what it doesn't need, okay? And it lets it go and there is a divine presence that transforms everything that is not needed into beauty, joy, high frequency of thinking. So today I encourage you, pay attention to the vibration of your thinking. Pay attention to, is this a thought I want to create more of? And remember, you have the ability to create everything. See you next Friday, 1010, Christie's Clarity.